It's Karen. I want to talk today about insulin. Uh, when you eat carbs, like carbohydrates like sugar and um, fruits and vegetables and starchy carbs like uh, rice and potatoes and uh, pasta and bread, it gets broken down in your stomach into glucose and it goes into your bloodstream and right behind your stomach is like a little banana shaped organ called the pancreas. It's a little skinnier than this, but it's about the size of the shape of a banana. And it sits behind your stomach and it secretes insulin. Now there's glucose in, in your bloodstream after you eat and you need some glucose for your immediate energy needs, but too much glucose is really not good for you know all your organs. So the insulin will act as an escort and it will escort the glucose into three different places, your liver, your muscles, and your fat cells. So you want to have some, some carbs for energy and for storage, but you don't want to have too much. You don't want to be feeding those fat cells. Um, and you can remember those three places that the insulin takes it to this way. Um, the liver is like where you live it up. It's like a really great nightclub and the insulin will come up to the glucose and say, hey sugar, you're looking really sweet today. Can I take you to the liver? And the glucose goes to your liver and that is stored and until you need it during times of fasting, like when you're asleep and you, you still need energy, you know, because your heart and your brains and your lungs are all functioning even in your sleep and you need that energy. So the liver will expel uh, some glucose, some energy for the use of, of your body while you're fasting like that. Uh, the second place, once the liver's filled up, the second place that uh, the insulin escorts the glucose to would be the muscles. And it's like, um, you know, think of it as a muscle bar. You know, it's like a really, it's a good place uh, not as wonderful as living it up in the liver, but you know, you, you want to get some energy to those muscles. Um, so the, so the insulin escorts the glucose to the muscles, uh, all the muscles in the body. And as you use those muscles, it's using the glucose, uh, in there. And the third place, once the liver's filled up, once the muscles are filled up, there's no other place to put the glucose except the fat cells. And you can think of that as like a greasy spoon. This is like, it's like a dive. This is like where the coffee's greasy and the hamburgers are cold. You don't really want to go there. So don't have too much carbs. Definitely need some carbs. If you go on a low carb diet, you're going to lose weight, but that's only until you go off the low carb diet and then uh, the glucose is going to be stored again. And when the glucose is getting stored in the muscles, you're also getting water along with that. I think it's um, for every gram of, of uh, glucose stored in the muscles, you get four grams of water. So that's why you get uh, some water retention in your muscles. So that's my message for you today. Hope you like it. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.